Hi guys, this is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you how to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 16 to iOS 15. Welcome to the roller coaster ride of tech updates, where every twist and turn brings exhilarating new features. But hold on to your iPhones, folks, for in this fast paced digital realm, we're about to embark on a journey that will make your heart skip a beat the daring quest to downgrade from iOS 16 to iOS 15. Okay, pardon my overzealousness, I'll tone it down now. The allure of iOS updates lies in their promise of improved features and enhanced performance. However, with every update, there's the risk of unintended consequences that might not align with your preferences. Whether you encounter compatibility issues with certain apps or devices, experience performance concerns on your older iPhone, or simply yearn for the familiar user interface of the previous iOS version, the desire to downgrade iOS 16 to iOS 15 can be irresistible. The process of downgrading from iOS 16 to iOS 15 opens the gateway to a familiar experience. It restores the interface you cherish and resolves any compatibility woes you may have encountered. Embracing this step-by-step -step walkthrough will empower you to reclaim control over your device's operating system. This will put you back in the driver's seat of your iPhone experience. So, let's embark on this journey together and navigate the path to a more familiar and satisfying iOS version. Venturing into the realm of downgrading from iOS 16 to iOS 15 demands caution. It also requires a keen awareness of the potential risks that accompany this journey. While the allure of returning to a previous version may tempt you, recognizing the potential pitfalls that lie ahead is crucial. First and foremost, the ominous risk of data loss looms large if you fail to perform a proper backup before initiating the downgrade process. Your iPhone houses a treasure trove of cherished memories, important documents, and valuable files. Without a comprehensive backup using iTunes or iCloud, bidding farewell to these irreplaceable digital treasures becomes a real possibility. Downgrading may introduce compatibility issues. This may lead to certain apps or services not functioning optimally on the older iOS version. With each iOS update, apps optimize themselves to work seamlessly with the latest features. Reverting to an older version can disrupt this harmony, potentially causing app crashes or even complete incompatibility, thus hampering your daily iPhone usage. Another significant risk lies in the realm of security vulnerabilities. Apple diligently addresses and patches potential security flaws with every new iOS release to protect users from potential threats. By downgrading to an older iOS version, you may unwittingly expose your device to security vulnerabilities that are no longer safeguarded by the most recent software updates. The process of downgrading from iOS 16 to iOS 15 requires a few prerequisites to ensure a smooth transition. Here are the key requirements you need to consider before downgrading iOS 16 to iOS 15. Obtain the iOS 15 IPSW file specific to your device model. Ensure that you download the correct IPSW file to avoid any compatibility issues during the downgrade process. Before downgrading, disable the Find My iPhone feature on your device. To disable Find My iPhone, go to Settings, Your Name, Find My Dog Find My iPhone, and toggle off the feature. You may need to enter your Apple ID password to complete this step. Check if your iPhone has enough available storage space to accommodate the iOS 15 installation. The downgrade process requires adequate space to complete without any interruptions. You'll need about 5 GB of free space to download and install iOS 15 update. To check if your iPhone has enough available storage space, go to Settings and General iPhone Storage. Ensure you have a computer with the latest version of Finder, for Mac OS Catalina and later, or iTunes, for Mac OS Mojave and earlier. This will serve as your bridge to connect with your iPhone during the downgrade. Have your trusty USB lightning cable on hand to establish a secure connection between your iPhone and the computer. This cable facilitates data transfer and ensures a smooth communication channel. If you encounter any issues with the standard downgrade process, consider having access to a reliable internet connection for internet recovery. This enables you to download the appropriate IPSW file directly from Apple's servers. Now that you have safely backed up your data and acquired the right iOS 15 IPSW file, it's time to revert to iOS 15. Here is how to go about it using iTunes. Place your iPhone in recovery mode. Depending on your iPhone model, follow these steps. For iPhone 8 or later, press and quickly release the volume up button, then the volume down button. Press and keep holding down the side button even when the Apple logo appears. Wait until a symbol, like a USB cord, appears on the screen. 
you can stop holding the side button as soon as the USB symbol appears. For iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, press and hold both the sleep-wake button and the volume down button until the Apple logo graces your screen. For iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep-wake button and the home button until the Apple logo blesses your sight. Next, launch iTunes on your computer. While your iPhone is in recovery mode, connect it to your computer using a reliable USB cable. As the connection is established, iTunes will acknowledge your iPhone is in recovery mode. At this point, iTunes will display a message confirming your iPhone's recovery mode status and prompt you to restore it before further use. Click on Restore iPhone, then follow the on-screen instructions. A new window will appear, guiding you to select the iOS 15 IPSW file you downloaded. Choose the correct file. With your iOS 15 IPSW file in tow, the downgrade process commences. The duration may vary, contingent on the size of the IPSW file. Once the downgrade is complete, your iPhone will restart, now running the familiar iOS 15. You've successfully downgraded your iPhone from iOS 16 to the comforting embrace of iOS 15. Now, it's time to bring back the essence of your digital realm, rekindling the cherished memories and files that make your iPhone uniquely yours. As the restoration completes, your iPhone restarts, and the world of iOS 15 greets you with open arms. There it is, the familiar home screen, your favorite apps in their rightful places, and the reassuring sense of continuity. Your digital realm is once again whole, rekindling the memories and experiences that make your iPhone uniquely yours. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more intuitive guides, tips, and Apple news. This is Mike here. See you next time.